It's just a lifestyle of eat what you want. Nothing is off limits for me and anyone that's had any kind of disordered eating past. When something is off limits, it just makes it more enticing. When it's not off limits, it's neutral. Like people are like, oh, you drink margaritas every day. If I can have a margarita every day and I know I can have it, it does. I don't need to have, it's not like, like I would have drinking days where all week I'd be like, I'm not having wine, but then Saturday you drink all the wine because it's your drinking day because it's even more, it's like up on the pedestal. Once you just allow everything, it doesn't make it as enticing. And for me, this is how I've maintained a 20 pound weight loss. I don't know if it's the right way. I don't know if this is the eating disorder recovery way to say it, but if someone is restricting, at some point you're going to have the thing, then you're going to binge because it's off limits and you broke it. It's not breaking a diet, have what you want. Nothing is off limits. And you'll notice you don't even need that much because you're getting actual food that you want. And I weigh 20 pounds less. So I'm like, how do I not share this message? It's working. It's balanced. Cause I know I can have it. And then it, we didn't even get into cortisol when you're living in that stress out. I got to get in a workout and I didn't hit my macros on this calculating your body's holding on to fat. This is a stress hormone. When you just allow and let go of the stress, your life is easier. And for me, I've been able to maintain this weight loss. It's balanced. It's squats and margaritas. 